Right on. George. Yes, sir. How are you? It's great to see that. Uh, it looks like we're going to sing a, like a hit song. It is, right? We are the world. Are you? Out of nothing at all, making love. A little, air, a little air supply for you in the morning, everybody. <laughs> Sounds like you haven't been busy at all. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, I, uh, I got nothing else in my life but work. So work and motorcycles. So what else am I going to do? Did you actually ride your motorbike to Vancouver from I wish Toronto? I did. I rode it to L.A. this summer. And I had to leave it in L.A. because I wanted to go to Burning Man this year. So I, But I had to be back at work in time, and I didn't have enough time to ride a motorcycle out of Burning Man. So I left my bike in L.A., and I just flew out. So the interesting thing about being on the air, and you know this, when you're on the air all the time, you can, especially if you've been on the air for a couple decades, I'm 22, 23 years into this now, that you, if you don't carve out spaces to be a human being, you're not actually going to be able to draw on the human things, and then you're just going to be a broadcaster. And... That's fine for some people, but that's not what I want to be. I want to be, I want to, as a broadcaster and as a, as a person who is, I try to be good company. We talked about this before, right? You want to be good company. And to do that, you have to kind of, you got to be a well-rounded person. And I, I find that when I was on the air every single day, as much as I have no problem with the work ethic, because this is all I do, um, you don't start to explore the other areas of your life that make you more curious. You don't read books that are disconnected to your life. So that you can, at some point, go on the air. Maybe, maybe you'll be able to refer to it. All those things that make you, I think, a good communicator, you can't do if you communicate every single day. It just becomes habit. And I never want to be a guy of routine and habit. I always want to be a guy who's in it for the right reasons. Yeah. How are you approaching the uh, sophomore jinx of hosting Hockey Night in Canada with this being the 64th season? Uh, are you? Well, I look at it like it's my 24th year on the air so that I haven't been a sophomore for a long <laughs> time. I'm I'm a dean now, bro. I know I'm OG. Uh yeah, I don't care. That to be to be blunt, I don't care. I, I, I know that my job is to um go be a host that can that can connect people to the game and I know how to do that and the people I work with are lovely and they know how to do their job and we have a good time and we laugh a lot and people some people like it and some people don't and you just can't worry about it. You just go. And I, I, to me, second year is nothing because I feel like I've been doing this my whole life. It'll be it'll be fun to do year two because year one, everybody's freaking out, right? Oh, my God. it's You're not Ron McLean. Oh, my God. I want more Don Cherry. Oh, my God. Everybody freaks out. And I understand why. Oh, my God. Rogers. I hate Rogers. Why is my cable company? Blah, blah. I had that all the time. We all hear that. And I thought, okay, good. Get it out of your system year one. Year two, let's get to hockey. Let's get to Canada. Let's get to what this is really all about. Yeah. P.K. Subban video. Yes. Being shared to the yeah. masses on the internet. His impersonation of Don Cherry. Amazing. Is there an impersonation you can do maybe of, of P.K. Subban or anybody that no. can be well, shared to the masses? No, here? I'll just tell you this about that. We were filming a promo, which I think is already airing, but he goes to this place called Fabricland or some place where you buy drapes to make your you know, your curtains or your, your couch, your Chesterfield, and, and which I think is Don's way of doing it. He finds fabrics he likes and then he has a suit made. We knew the bit was... P.K. Subban walks out and goes, beauty! And that was it. But when the camera stopped rolling, these other guys were rolling, and P.K. just launched into his Don Jerry impersonation. That wasn't for the camera. We knew cameras were around, but they were just, you know, like like what's happening here with a, with a 5D or a 7D. And holy cow, did we lose our stuff. I started laughing so hard. I had no idea it was ever going to go. And I found out that it was on social media when somebody tweeted it at me. I didn't even know. That wasn't part of the plan. It was so funny. George, thanks, bud. I don't know if anybody can see it, but he's wearing a Blue Jays hat right now, and nothing makes me happier than going all across Canada, and everybody generally hates Toronto, and to see the Blue Jay logo everywhere makes me smile. Dude, we're going to make the playoffs. That's crazy. <laughs>